Hey, Dr. Clarko, can you explain the spectrum of addiction? When we talk about the spectrum of addiction, what we usually mean as healthcare professionals working in addiction space is a person has a genetic predisposition through their ancestors somewhere for alcohol and substance use disorders of some sort. Whether or not it's precipitated and to what degree highly influenced by environmental factors like you know how you grew up, your life experiences, did you grow up in a traumatic area or was it very peaceful? You know, lots of things will kind of push you on that spectrum one way or another. So let me give you some examples. On the mild end of the spectrum, I would, I would consider like cigarette smoking or vaping, kind of on the mild end. You're still on the spectrum, but it's mild and takes a long time to do any harm. And then of course, we have the other extreme where people are using you know, meth, cocaine, heroin, other things on the far end on a daily basis, and they're really on the far end. People just don't typically gravitate on one or the other. People can go through the spectrum, depending upon life stresses, trauma, they can go from mild to severe, and they can go back again. Everyone's a little bit different, uh, different in terms of where they are on the spectrum. Again, how much of a genetic inheritance they have, and again, their environmental factors will determine where they kind of fall and where they usually sit. But again, remember, it's a continuum. People can go back and forth depending upon life circumstances. Be sure to follow us for more recovery and addiction information. If you are struggling and need help, contact us in our profile today.